Coffeezilla is a bitch. This is my statement to you, Coffeezilla. You're a fucking I guarantee I drink more coffee than you. Meaning you're a fraud to begin with. The reaction you're having right now was exactly my reaction when I found out Mr. Andrew was reactioning to Coffeezilla's reaction to the statement. Now, what is the reason that this random beef is happening? Why is Andrew Tate roasting the shit out of Coffeezilla? If you don't know who Coffeezilla is, he's an investigator on YouTube where if something is a scam, especially when it comes to the crypto industry or some banks, some businesses that are scamming people, he investigates them, puts a lot of hard work and research into the whole thing, bring out receipts and just showcase it to everyone and expose the businesses. And I'm sure you've heard of CoffeeZilla once or twice because he's uh, Logan Paul's bestie, BFFs uh, together forever. Now, why is Andrew Tate so angry at CoffeeZilla? Is because CoffeeZilla started an investigation on Andrew Tate as well from his latest coin yes i repeat andrew tate's latest meme coin during his research for the next video he was going to post he asked andrew tate a couple of questions and he gave him 48 hours to answer it and andrew tate whose ego is bigger than ksi you think he will take that lightly nope he went on a two minute rap of just roasting the shit out of coffees <laughs> you're doing this little breakdown this investigation you just emailed me in a homosexual tone saying oh i want to ask questions about this coin this coin you really think you're gonna do a investigation into the fact that meme coin prices go up and down and the, all the in the real in the trenches are gonna agree with you of course they go up and down it's meme coins nobody cares now i'm pretty sure you're wondering what this whole meme coin is just a february of this year andrew tate tweeted hey crypto twitter if i launch a coin and back it with 100 million of my own money and never sell then i'll let university.com members get in early at a discount and then because i'm the most famous man alive i'll promote it everywhere let you all make money and you have to call me top g the g stands for crypto now the reason coffeezilla is asking these questions is because you said you put your own money into it you'll never sell and you you're the most famous person in the world so you'll promote it so everyone will be making money well according to the latest graph for the daddy coin let's just say it is not looking good that's why coffeezilla is asking these questions you can see it reached upon launch a 200 million dollar market cap and it's been falling it got a re-pump when it uh, got announced that they were actually going to launch their own token and people were going to be able to get access to it through staking the daddy coin which is going to go into detail inside this video got another pump back up to 120 mil and then it has slowly bled out and stabilized around the 43 million dollar mark but this is not what we were promised because on the real world, they tweeted Andrew Tate has officially burned 110 million US dollars worth of daddy. Now, some would say if he wanted to hump up and shit on everyone who invested in this crypto, he would have cashed out a 200 something million because he already doubled his money. But that's not what he's aiming for. As he tweeted, he's aiming for one billion dollars. But it's not going too well for Mr. Tate here. I'm not Logan Paul. I'm not somebody who is already hated and everyone's looking for a reason to jump on the bandwagon. I'm built different. I'm loved. Nobody likes you. Nobody's scared of your investigation. <laughs> this was me three hours ago. I mean, if you're not afraid of the investigation, why not come up with a response instead of cursing it up? Why not reply to his questions? But let's just continue. Your emails sound I accidentally leaked your email address. Now everyone's calling you I regret nothing I've ever done. Daddy to the moon, patriarchy's being restored. Once I bust this case of king, keep your sister and mother away from me, or they'll end up working. I am built different. As you can see, Mr. Andrew is built different. Coffeezilla needs to watch out when he comes across Andrew Tate in public because he's going to shaka like a boom boom ham. And with all the yapping that Mr. Tate has been doing over the past couple of years, I found this video of him. I do not endorse any crypto. I have nothing to do with any cryptos whatsoever, and I'll tell you why. Because in crypto, it's impossible for someone to win without somebody else losing. If you're going to buy a coin for a dollar and sell it for $10, the only reason you have made money is because someone else bought it for $10 and they are going to lose. So now going back to the, you know, the tweet that he made. I'm the most famous man in the world and I will promote it everywhere so you can all make money and you call me Top G. Meaning you are in the Top G clan. I'm the most famous person. I'm going to promote it. Bring other people to invest in the coin and make them believe they're in the Top G clan. But you're the OG uh, top, top G clan. They're going to invest their money. They're going to lose their money because you, everyone cannot win. 
when in this meme coin crypto shit. So you will be making money. This fake Top G clan is going to lose their money and he's going to tell this person that this person is going to lose their money. So it's going to be a war between the Top G clans and guess who is going to be taking all the money at the end? Kamala Harris. That's just the way I see these things. Do I am I encouraging not to buy the daddy coin? You're a grown man or a woman. You can do whatever you want. Am I going to buy it? Fuck no. I'm just going to leave it at that. Now, Andrew Tate for years, he's been saying that he doesn't endorse crypto. He doesn't, you know, promote crypto to his fans. He's been offered hundreds of millions of dollars to promote cryptos, but he always rejected them because he doesn't want to scam his audience. Are you going to launch your own crypto? No, I'm not going to launch a crypto. I just like to f with crypto Twitter because crypto Twitter are full of the biggest degenerate losers on the planet. They're losers. Crypto is the only scenario I can think of where you can make a whole bunch of money while benefiting society zero. Why now? Now keep in mind, this is just my opinion. This is just the way I, I see things. Soon we will find out why he's been promoting and why he's been, you know, forcing everyone to join the university and he's even giving out lambos to uh, whoever joins the university and you'll have a chance to win a lamborghini like sto now this is the email coffeezilla sent to andrew tate and his reply was obviously the way andrew tate responds and for someone like coffeezilla i want to say a journalist or you know an investigator or a commentary channel at the same time when they want to verify a piece of information they reach out to the exact person now me, I do things a little bit differently. I'm very good at reading people. That is a set of skills that I have mastered and I don't need to verify any information because just looking by that person, just looking, let's do this experiment, but just looking at you, I can exactly read you through the camera. Give me a second. You don't like Jack Doherty. You like food. You peed today. You're probably like, whoa, how did you know that? I'm just built different. I am built different. In CoffeeZilla's email, he said, hey, Andrew Tate, I'm reaching out for a comment as I have a story about your crypto endorsement coming out. Please respond in 48 hours to ensure I can get your answer in a video for context. Last year, you said you do not endorse shit coins. You've also claimed you do not have anything to do with any crypto. What changed? Pretty good question since we went through the last um, the tweets that Andrew Tate made. How much were you and your brother paid to promote or talk about Roostcoin? Interesting. I don't know what the fuck this is. I look forward to CoffeeZilla's video though. Are you aware the Roost coin you and your brother promoted has been hacked? How much were you and your brother paid to promote and or talk about Venom blockchain? Interesting. How much were you paid to talk about Fedomanada? Were you and your brother paid by or affiliated with RNT and DaddyCoin? You've said SEC has come for me. There's no SEC in Romania. We are scammers. Now you say you're trying to get the TRW token regulated under the SEC law. What changed? Are you planning to sell to the US investors? Question mark. Now the questions are very reasonable and Andrew Tate did in fact answer them by calling him one word. H-O-M-O. That is a word he throws around anyone who catches him and he has nothing else to say. I don't see a point. Just reply it. Now, he said in his video that, you know, meme coins is a shit coin, meme coin. They're all the same shit. They all go up and down. And from the video that we saw that I showed you from a year or two years ago where Andrew Tate said that. I have nothing to do with any cryptos whatsoever. And I'll tell you why. Because in crypto, it's impossible for someone to win without somebody else losing. There's no way everyone's going to win. Some are going to lose money. Some are going to win money. Now, this is the point where anything you say it right, you're the person who's, you know, the audience are going to believe you. As a matter of fact, did you know that junk food is worse than smoking for you? Did you know that junk food kills more people yearly, 10 times, 20 times more than smoking? Now you probably feel better about yourself saying, I'll eat healthy, but I'll keep on smoking. Well, guess fucking what, you donkey? Smoking is still worse. It's just the way you say things is going to make it believable. Yes, junk food kills more people, but everyone eats food. Does everyone smoke? No. The harm in smoking is 100 times worse than junk food. So first saying that not everyone is going to win in crypto, but then saying everyone's going to win in crypto 
the coins just go up and down that's just logic whatever you say mr tate we believe you mr andrew also leaked his email and it told everyone to go call him this coffeezilla response was i asked andrew tate about his crypto scams and i think he sent the war room after me now i gotta be honest with you this looks like some interesting beef that is going on between these two and i look forward to what's gonna come next coffeezilla's response andrew tate's response is going to be the war room inside the internet right now and back in the day like around two years ago I used to like scroll through TikTok and I come across like Andrew Tate's some quotes that he used to say. Some 13 year old edits the words he said and he puts like background music on it and I used to listen to it. And I'm gonna lie, it was pretty good to hear it. I was on my ass watching TikTok scrolling and then just getting jump scared by Andrew Tate and his uh, sun shades. I had some work to do, but I was instead on my ass and just watching something because I was so demotivated because that's what TikTok and Reels do to you. And I see this, his face pop up. Don't be a bitch. Go to work. Men should suffer and be donkeys. Go suffer. Go suffer. Be a man. Your family is looking up to you in the future. You're a disappointment. He called us donkey and pussies a couple of times. And I was like, you know what? I'm not a donkey. I'm not a pussy. So I'm going to, you know, get to work and get shit done. It was pretty nice, but lately, not so much. He already has a cult following him and he became cringe he became e extremely cringe i would say this is his latest post mommy why are we rich because of daddy coin and he just posted a picture of <laughs> I, I have a feeling andrew tate is going to delete all of his accounts by himself in the next six months anyways let's see what happens i look forward to it maybe i'm wrong let me know your thoughts in the comments below as usual like subscription if you're new here appreciate it take it easy i'll see you at the next one